living in the past is depression, living in the future is anxiety. These things don't exist. So I'm saying when I'm living in the right now, sometimes there's just a heaviness that is hard to explain. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of uh, We Love Our Kids, but I am Justin McClure and... I am Ami McClure. Yeah, and... Was that, was that low? Ahead. I should probably say that louder. And I am Ami McClure. <laughs> I whispered. Say it with some authority. <laughs> say it with some Say it uh, with your chest pride, is what people right, say now. Yeah. Say it with your chest. Yeah, be who you are. Be happy with who you are. Today, I guess, I just want to talk about what's on my mind. And I think this podcast is um, maybe good for some people because it's authentic and raw and, like, it's just um, no script. Be Wait, I don't want to interrupt you, but we don't ever have a script. We you never just said script. no script, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we never have a script. <laughs> but, but, I'm, but I'm saying, like, talking about deeper subjects or more personal subjects or more poignant things to you might feel contrived to some people. Um, well, we always, I mean, it's always a candid conversation. I just want to say. I think, I think what you're trying to say is you're going to talk about something that, like, we didn't say, okay, this is what we're going to talk about today. Right, like, Basically, right. you just have yeah, something you want we, to say. Sometimes we say, let's talk about this tonight. You know, sometimes we just talk about what's on our mind. And what's on my mind is that um, sometimes I don't want to be a husband or a father. Drop the bombs. <laughs> Literally, drop all the bombs. Awesome. Yeah, today, I just, you didn't know I was going to say that. But I have to, I mean, you know, I, I just... There might be people out there who judge what we're saying and or what I'm saying. That's totally fine. Can I judge what you're saying? Absolutely. Uh, that's how I feel. You know, like today was judgments. just one of those days where, I, and I'm trying to even explain why. And I think if I could, it would explain some of the heaviness that I live with that is really tough. It, it's it's tough for me. And it, it's nothing to do with like kids are wild today or whatever. It's really a heavier thing that I fight with that is borderline depression and borderline questioning why you're here. And it's two other thoughts away from suicide. That's what it is. Huh? What? You, so you're not going, you're not going to understand. Like you just, no, you're, I'm trying to understand what you just said is two other thoughts away from, I don't know. What, what, what I'm saying is I, I understand the heaviness of life when people have a difficult time and they can't explain why, or they might have everything that's perfect to some people. They got money. They got a beautiful family. They got the car they want to drive. So why would that person ever complain about life? I understand why, because I think there's an unspoken thing between these types of people that you can't really articulate because it's just a heaviness that's there. Well, I think, you know, obviously I can't speak from that perspective, but I, what I'm saying is I think that this goes to really what I say about everybody in general. Everybody is so different. Like you can't if somebody, literally the same piece of whatever we could put right in front of us today and I could think one thing about it and you could think a completely different thing about it. the same exact thing. The way I think or the way my brain functions, which some, some is a control of me or my environment, some is just, that's just the way it is, is different than yours and yours right. and yours and yours and yours. Even blood, same mom, same, you're just not the same. It's just, that's why so much tolerance is necessary in the world because we're just, we're not the same. So I'm, I'm not saying I can understand the way that you are thinking. But what I'm saying is I can understand how you're saying that someone else would not understand unless they had that line of how their brain is working or how their feelings are working. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't have that. I move, I move differently than that. You move, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm saying. Like I can't put myself in that scenario to understand in that way, but I can put myself in the mind state of a person who truly believes in understanding of people and just saying like, okay, well, that's their thing, and I can't really critique it, if that makes sense. I just want to say good for you that you don't move that way. <laughs> what do you mean? I think, you know, if I can articulate it, it's a combination of things. It's How can I put it this way? Like, I was thinking earlier, like, I, I was so fun as an alcoholic and so much fun as a comedian. And, and I'm like, I feel like something, I'm just a shell of the person I once was, and it's not because I'm sober, and it's not because other things. As I get older, I just lose enthusiasm. It's like I've said this before. Like some people say, they want to live to be 
forever or they want to live a long, long time. Why? Why, why would you ever want to do that? At some point, how many times can you love? How many times can you have a new job? How many times can you do these things before they get boring? And I'm saying for me, I am so appreciative of my life. I look at my where I'm at right now and my health and what I have, and I'm, I'm very grateful. It's nothing to do with I want more, nothing to do. Like, it, it's just, it's really finding purpose for myself because I've achieved so much and that don't mean arrogantly because I've achieved a lot of things on the negative side. I've, I've, I've achieved a lot of failures well, and think- a lot of successes. I've climbed a lot of mountains. I've been to a lot of valleys. How many more are there that I'm going to care about? Well, what I'm saying, I think I want to clarify the achievement thing because some people may think of just the business. He's talking about personally I'm talking about, as yeah. well in general. Like even saying I don't want to be this person I was last year, and you're not that now. Like that's an achievement. Like I think that's what you're talking about. Yeah, no, the th- not the business. The business is fine. The business is successful. I'm, I'm I'm creative. It's just you know days like today when I have this heaviness all day with the kids was great, except for several instances where they just didn't listen and they don't care to seem to want to listen, and it really bothers me. I feel sometimes. They don't want to please their mom and dad in a way that they know that sometimes we're affected by their actions. When they keep doing the same thing over and over again, I don't put my hands on them. I, I don't I don't get really mad and I I don't want to do that. But how strict and stern can I be about certain things before I, I, I just think they just don't care. They just don't think about well, mom and dad might appreciate or it might make their day better <laughs> if I do this or, or don't do that. That, I think, coupled with the other thing, it sometimes it just gives you days of just uh, heaviness. And once again, it's not like, woe is me. I'm just, I'm, this, is, this is how I'm feeling. This is how I'm feeling. That's, that's it. And I'm entitled to feel that way because I feel that way. So sometimes I don't want to be a, a husband or a dad. It just, it's draining. Like, no offense <laughs> to you. Or the, it just, it's draining. And then, like, so I spent all day with the kids, and that's great. But then I get inside, I don't have five minutes of da 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 mama, da 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 And it's like, I love that they're at the stage that, like, I get all the data. Because at one point, you know, they're, they're not going to be. But it's just like, it. sometimes it's just like, where's my five minutes? Where's my five? Where, where are the kids that, that say, I know dad needs five minutes to himself. Five minutes to himself. I'll be selfish in five minutes. There's no five minutes. I hear you. And... I agree. But I also think part of who you are, how you process things sometimes is not holding on to, not holding on to, what's the word I want to use? Okay, I'll just take this example. Things can be going well in whatever avenue, and then tomorrow something goes bad. That thing that went bad is the thing that you're going to be affected by and talk about and remember more. I'm like, well, you know, things were great for 10 days. You can't let this one day be the day you're like, ah, oh, not saying that you can't have that feeling, but I'm saying that I think it makes you forget about, you know, well, there's some days where they did this or they, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. And I'm not saying they, even just the kids, I'm saying everything in general. But I, I think that goes back to that's just how you process things or, or whatever it is in general. Because I say I'll notice that even not even like I said, not even talking about the kids, like I've noticed it even with like the business or with like me. And I'm just like, well, Justin, if you try to remember that. Yes, this may have happened today or something wasn't great in this moment, but doesn't mean that somebody was intentionally doing something or not caring rather than they're just being a person in this moment who's allowed to also slip and fall and not have a great day themselves or not make great decisions in that day. Maybe yesterday they did, maybe the day before they did, maybe the day before they did. But today they're not making great decisions or today they're not being the person or they're affecting you with their decisions. Yeah. So I'm saying, but, but that just goes back to, like I said, everybody is different in how they move, how they process, how information gets to them, how everything processes within themselves. And what I, I've been saying, so that's what I've noticed about you. And I try to sometimes even offset that because I don't feel that way. Let's just say as you and I, like I won't extend being upset about something that we may have disagreed or had an argument about because I know that I can move Mm -hmm. past it faster than you can. But so if we're both sitting here being upset about something, 
we're literally going to be like two rocks staring at each other being upset about something. I don't want the messengers to think that I'm upset about things. I'm not upset. No, I'm not it's even a, saying It's all a the heaviness time. that I have in the present moment. It's not something that I'm th- thinking about in the past because living in the past is depression. Living in the future is anxiety. These things don't exist. So I'm saying when I'm living in the right now, sometimes there's just a heaviness that is hard to explain. I can't even really articulate, but it's there. It almost just overwhelms me. And when I think of that heaviness, I just think sometimes, what's the point? What's the point for, for Justin? Like, what is, the, what is the point for me? Oh, it's so great to be a, a dad and have kids and a, and, a, and a husband and have a great wife and all this kind of stuff. Is it really? Well, then why do I feel that way? And I look at other people who have like kind of gone through the same thing and like they also had a very life that they appreciated and and a lot of these people are similar to me in the fact that like they achieved a lot in life good and bad there's not much energy to climb mountains and go through valleys anymore so you just kind of sit despondent and you're just wondering what is the point do you go through the rest of my life just raising kids, raising good kids? I will do that. <laughs> well, I mean, you, know, that, you definitely got a ways to go raising kids. Yeah, no, and, and fatherhood and, you know, family gives me great joy and whatever. And this is, but it's nothing really to do about that. 